February 13, 1995, was a rainy day in Glendale, California. This was the home of Dennis Ehrlich, a former minister in the Church of Scientology. At 7.30 in the morning, Scientology conducted a raid of Dennis's home. This footage was shot as the raid was already in progress. This is where they're doing it. This is my computer. The videographer was just arriving, but the L.A. Times was already on the scene. This is what they intend. They've already been through my whole hard disk. They've deleted files. They've copied files. You're welcome to go anywhere in the house. The photographer on the left is from the Times. He's taking pictures of Warren McShane. McShane is an officer of the RTC, the Religious Technology Center. And this is what the fuss is all about. With this computer, Dennis took part in discussions on the news group Alt-Religion Scientology. Scientology accused Dennis of illegally posting copyrighted material. For several hours, they'd been deleting files from Dennis's computer and boxing up his computer disks. With the arrival of a cameraman, their demeanor changes immediately. Here, McShane talks with Scientology attorney That's, Thomas Small. We're going to be on TV here. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, that's. Uh, they appear like deer caught in a headlight. McShane starts to dead agent Dennis. Wait till the police come. I mean, come. He's, he's hit the computer. Um, he hasn't uh, been cooperative. He's a criminal. What do you do? Let me take it to the judge and let the judge mm -hmm. handle it. If he would have cooperated this morning, it would have been a different thing. It's enough pictures now. It's enough pictures now. Yes, well, apparently they're, 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 what, what, the, what the warrant, what the writ of seizure allows is not uh, is not germane to what they're doing. They, I know, I know that it doesn't allow for uh, uh, removal of files or deletion of files, but that's what they're doing. They've done it already. It's too late. You know, so they have copied. They've made two copies of all these files for themselves, and they plan on taking it away. And they've deleted them. Coming through the door is Robert Shovelin, a private investigator hired by Small. It's about a foot high stack of paper uh, that they've served me with on the, uh, you know, I have it on the kitchen table over there. Uh, I, I certainly couldn't read through it in any reasonable amount of time, nor would I be able to understand it if I did read through it. It was a call like this one earlier in the day to Priscilla Coates with the original Cult Awareness Network that brought the media to Dennis's home. Now they're waiting for a Glendale police officer. Uh -huh. Okay, I appreciate it because uh, I've told them to call to get the Glendale police here before they take anything out of my house, and I don't know that they're going to comply with that. They're still in my home, and they uh, they've finished deleting the files. Uh, they've got copies of everything that they want, and now they're apparently are ready to leave, and uh, apparently uh, they're going to try and get out of my house with all of this stuff. I don't, I don't have a lawyer and I, <clears throat> I couldn't afford one if I did. Thank you. Well, what's the status of all this? What are, they, what are they doing? What, what is he doing? Taking take pictures of, of everything? Just so no, that, that isn't that isn't what the that isn't. Just take the room. Just take hey, the room. What is what is this? What, no, no, wait a second. What is what is he doing? Exactly, he's taking pictures of things unrelated to this. Okay. I want that film. He has no right to invade my privacy. My privacy that way. Please should be here in about two minutes. We'll all discuss it. Okay. Yeah, but he took pictures beyond the scope. What, well, that's not what the warrant says. Excuse what do you me. mean? He has a right to take pictures of my closet. And what does that have to do with the with the warrant?
No, no limits, do you? No limits at all. There is no privacy. Dennis was concerned because Scientology was going out of its way to photograph adult videos on the upper shelf of his closet. This is my music studio. You might as well come in here too. going to be one picture. I was told there was only going to be one picture to make sure that there was no damage. You guys are taking all the shots you want, eh? And what happened to what uh, Eddie said? One picture per room to make sure there was no damage? What I will do, you've exceeded that. What I will do is I'll have that in my presence, that film developed. He said that there would be one shot per, per room in order to verify that I didn't make a claim against you that you trashed my, my house. Instead, he's looking in my closet, he's looking all over the place, taking pictures of things that he oughtn't I'm to not be. Say yeah, well, that's the point. You're not going to say anymore, but that was what uh, that was what your employee told me. One picture per room to verify that they didn't trash the place. The time the all time. they trashed was my fucking civil rights. That's all they trashed, and that's what you're part of. And whether you like it or not, that's the truth, man. I would have expected a little more from you. You know. I'm sorry to, you know, the, to, to say it like that, but you were, you, you know, this is a dirty deal, and they've gone way beyond what they were allowed to do, and you're facilitating it. Tapes obviously could be in that closet, They're both and if you look at the warrant, and he's a Scientologist, too, well, right? I don't know what the heck. Right? This guy is a Scientologist. I could tell by the thousand mile stare. You, th you said you said he was an employee of your uh, of your firm, and he wasn't connected with this this case. But he is connected with this case. Why couldn't there possibly be boxes? Boxes in there. You were one shot is what Eddie said to make sure that the place wasn't trash. Obviously, it's positions. If I took one shot of this room, could I see everything? No. No, that's the problem. Look what he was photographing. Look okay. Go ahead, look in there. I'm just about to put these on. Yeah, look what he was photographing and why. Then you'll understand. Okay. Maybe you I understand? Can, maybe I can do something about that. I would appreciate it if you would, man. I've been trying all day and you know it. Okay. I don't think you're, you're one of them, but uh, I guarantee that you've got to stop them from fucking with me. The Scientology photographer is willing to give up the film. Look, I could give you the role and I could reach you the stuff I shot. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it's not a big deal. I really don't care. The fact that he has pornos in there, it doesn't bother. I don't give a crap. Mm -hmm. no, I don't see it all. Yeah, right. Okay, you want to see that? Yeah. Okay. I really don't care. Okay, that's just a lot easier. It's a, it's a, it says, okay, fine. Do, I mean, it, do, it, do what you're going to do. I, mean, I don't believe that they're that, acting in good faith. If I'm trying to keep everything as normal as possible, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reshoot. But when I say the room, we'll close that closet, okay? Yeah. You should take a picture, a couple pictures of uh, the computers yeah. or whatever. I mean, I just... When I told you what my experience has been in the past, where people have destroyed things in homes... If I come against you, it's not going to be for taking, you know, for destroying my understand. house. It's going to be for it. destroying my rights. Yes. What I want to do is boom, Nothing. boom, we'll close the Fine. closet, okay? Fine. Back to the other rooms. Okay, go ahead, we'll just close that closet door. And where's the film that they took? And how do I know it's that film? Because he's opening the camera right now. Uh -huh. And, and it didn't switch it off between now and then. I mean, I really want to shoot it, and I'll hand it to you. And I'll be the one to personally hand it to you. And I'm going to put it in my pocket. And in the yeah. pocket okay. is where it stayed. He never turned over the film. So we got, what, what, what is he going to shoot? Uh, a couple of shots in there yeah, is so what Eddie said. Angle. Yeah, a couple of shots in there. And then, uh, and then a, 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 a shot in each of the other rooms. Yeah, so uh, I can, like, down here where you can see nothing. Right. Going across this right. way. Right. Okay. Your band room. Okay. That closet I need to shoot, okay? Mm-hmm. Because that's where, that's where the incriminating yeah, yeah, right. okay. the, the, the heavy okay. evidence was. But that's, but that's why. Okay. Uh -huh. That's the purpose. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, let me see what they're doing. I'm going to close the box so I can shoot this angle. Oh, the Trash the door, see? You can't get a picture of this. Trash the door, right? There you go. You guys. You guys. Can you go the room? Okay, good. You can see the room. It's for the condition of the room. Oh, okay. Thank you. And now Sergeant McKillop of the Glendale Police Department has arrived. At 7.30 in the morning, another Glendale police officer, Steve Eggert, was on the scene to escort Hall and McShane into the home. He stayed for about a half an hour and then left. Robert Shovlin also brought along two armed, off-duty police officers from the Inglewood Police Department. They were Sergeant Ed Eccles and Officer Mark Fronterata. Paul Wilmhurst, a Scientology computer expert, also arrived at 7.30. He deleted files from Dennis's hard drive, while the others confiscated over 300 floppy disks and two 120-meg tape backups of Dennis's hard drive. Okay. Let me have a I think I can clear this up. Sure. Let's do this outside of your shop. If you prefer, I mean, I prefer to do it within, within, okay. in this, go ahead. I need your, your, your okay, name. Okay, I so prefer forth. to do this just between me and you. I don't want to do this in front of the cameras and everything. I want, because I want to make sure you fully understand, I want to take our time and do this, okay? I'll, I'll be glad to come back out here and talk to you in front of the cameras and so on, but let's talk between us first and we'll come uh, back I prefer out. to do it in front Okay, then all I can tell you is that I read through this. Uh-huh, you're here first. Sergeant McKillop, MCK. I L L O P. K I L L O P. Right. And it appears to me that they do have a valid uh, writ of seizure. Mm -hmm. And it is a court order. And it is to law enforcement officers. And apparently our, our officers were here this morning. Or One originally. officer was here okay. who I permitted entrance to. And then okay. all these other people came in. Okay. They have illegally deleted files from my from my okay. computer. Okay. Let me let me stop you right there. Do they according have a right to, to do order, that? According to this, they have order. no right to delete files from my computer. You gotta listen because I'm I'm just gonna go through it. Okay. Right. According to the order, they're directed. Now this is an order from the court directed uh -huh. to seize right the items, which include right any and all copies of production. Uh, no. Okay, well, computer disks right. and printed material. Right. Okay. So I want to see so. the things that they're seizing. I, I have not okay. yet seen anything, and I haven't got a I haven't got an inventory of anything. I haven't looked at the disks. I need to sit down. Okay. I need to sit down and examine the disks myself to make sure they're not taking any of my private files. I understand your concerns, but my understanding of the law is you're entitled to see an inventory sheet but you're not entitled to go through everything they're taking before they take it, because this is an order from the court. So what I'll do is I'll stand by here, make sure they leave an inventory list. I'll stand by here, make sure it's peaceful. They're going to take what they have uh, seized pursuant to this I, I want to court order, it and that's completely. it. Okay? I want that's all I can do. Okay, so Officer, where's all the stuff? Right in here. All right, let's go. Let's get the stuff, take it. And make sure I don't have a right to examine what they're no, taking. You don't. I want to look at the discs that they're taking, and they've already taken some of these discs and stuff out. I need to examine what they're taking. But Officer, they're invading my privacy. Well, I'm, the problem I'm not is a criminal. I, this is a civil not, suit. Okay, I understand that. I have a All right you, to make to, 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 to document what they're taking out of my house. Right, don't I'll, you understand that? No, I, I can tell you what the court order says. You're saying I don't have a right to see what they're taking? That you, I don't have a right to verify they, their inventory? This is what they're taking. Though no. they've already taken stuff out. I'm they've not, already taken okay. stuff out. And I, I need is to see... Is there some kind of a I need uh, to look conflict at as far as what you're taking out? Or yes. The only things I've taken out are actual... Copies on our own disk. And I need of to see that things that were on his disk drive They've come that we in were not permitted to take. So. It's like okay. going into my court According to this private court. correspondence, okay. According and to they this copied them to their file to I their understand. disks. According to this court order, 
there is to hold on to this evidence. They're going to have to turn it over to the court. If the court sees that there is something on there that they're not entitled to have, you have recourse. You have, I you want can, to you have civil recourse what they and you have. might have criminal recourse. I have a but right to let, see what they're taking out of my house. It has to be turned over to the court, and then you can look at everything, and the court can decide whether or not they took in something the, not in within the... Meantime, the, the in the meantime, my rights have been violated. How would I know what and they're taking? I need to, me, to inventory the files that right, they're taking. Time out. It sounds to me you should talk to an attorney and take whatever action you want to take. I'm in trusting you to protect my rights, I am, officer. And I came out here. I'm a citizen of Glendale. I was I born in Glendale. I understand that. These people have walked into my house and are going through my private files. I have a right to see what files they are taking. Okay. Officer, please. Let me speak. I reviewed the document. It doesn't it say. It appears that they are doing everything within the. They uh, doesn't say they have a right to delete of, my files, does well, it? I don't doesn't know whether they anything. deleted your files. They That's did delete my. Did they, you delete my files? We, we took the files. You yes. deleted them the from my computer and this. And deleted them from Let's my get computer. Let's the stuff out of here and uh, uh, then. Just officer, please don't let button. them take the stuff. Wait until a federal authority comes. There's somebody on the way. There's somebody. I've been told that this whole thing is illegal unless there was a federal officer here. Just no, let us. It's right here. Right here. No. I'll just come into it right now. I haven't seen the files, so I have no idea okay. what they're taking. They do not have. They have to turn over everything they took to the court. Okay. If something is changed or altered, prior they to have, that that is not. That's they not have proper. Copies you have of recourse. Private files okay. off of my computer, and they've got them out in the car already. Okay. This material is just. You know, I don't want them taking these. these this know. isn't these discs. This disc right here. Let me show you. This disc is not covered by that warrant, by that seizure. This disc, and I can prove that to you. Okay. No. You if I can prove that to you, will you prevent them from taking this disc? Put it back in there for a second. Okay. This disc is not covered by that. Okay. Let me see the disc. Okay. Step outside. I, I, this is my house. I, I I'm not under that. arrest. You. I know, but you don't want to get into a situation where you're interfering with a court order, because then it becomes a criminal matter. That disc is not let's covered by the court order. Look, let's let's make a phone call. Come on outside here. This is my call. phone right here. Now, okay. I, I don't. Go ahead and take this. Now, please don't let them take that stuff out. Please. Excuse me. You got all this this is his inventory. Oh, on this one? Yes, that's all inventory. Waiting outside to collect the evidence was the former head of Scientology's Office of Special Affairs, Mike Rinder. Years later, Rinder would join with former executive Marty Rathbun to expose the abusive nature of Scientology's current leader, David Miscavige. In a series of explosive articles in the St. Petersburg Times, Rathbun and Render and other top executives talked about the physical and mental abuse heaped upon staff by David Miscavige. Grab this. This is locked. This is mine. Sure. I'm already tired. Yeah, it's everything. You got it. Who's uh, actually in charge of this whole? Uh, I am. Okay, and you're small time. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Thanks a lot. Sure thing. thing. Can we back down a little bit? Yes. Now, do you know if it was McShane that the, McShane the, the is one cold of the, face guy? Yeah, the please one of the plain no, the guy the, the tall guy, the tall blonde guy who was standing not the guy working on the computer, but the guy standing behind him. Was that McShane? Yeah. And the guy working the little Weasley guy yeah. working was Paul? The guy with the English accent was Paul. And he was um, he's one of their he's a computer expert for them. McShane is actually one of the plaintiffs in this suit. He's rep, he represents uh, Religious Technology Center, right. which is their copyright holder, Church of Scientology, the cult's copyright holder. 
doing shame to plain And he's sitting at my computer deleting my, my files. files. These guys, uh, <laughs> they, did you, they these did. guys had guns that came well, in here? The, the, yeah, this guy, uh, the rent cops there was three uh -huh. rent cops mm -hmm. uh, from this agency, and they had guns. Two, uh, the two of them were off-duty Inglewood police officers. They were very polite, you know, but they made it very clear not to fuck with them. Mm -hmm. So. When did this start? 7.30 7 this morning, they were pounding on my door. I called the I called 911, and the, the Glendale police said, uh, open the door. They got a warrant. <laughs> They got a warrant, but they didn't have a warrant. They just have a they have a writ of seizure. This is what they're supposed to. Now they they they're gone. I mean, they 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 did it already. The, the deed is done. What did they get? What they got was anything they wanted off of my hard disk. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have no idea what they took. Plus any copies, or just they just took. They all copied it and deleted whatever they wanted on my hard disk. And they took a number of floppies. I mean, probably well, you can. I have the I have the inventory of what they took. Mm -hmm. Books that, that that belonged to a friend of mine. Uh, Scientology books. That, I mean, I have the inventory if you want. Okay. Yeah, I would like that. They deleted all my files from the internet. See, they're all gone. Every single one of them. Recover and save. Supposedly, I have 200. I mean, I have all these uh, messages that are supposed to be there. They're not there anymore. See? So, there were people who were literally uh, chained and tortured. There was definitely a psychological. Uh, abuse that was done to people in, in the name of rehabilitation, uh, forced labor, um, uh, kidnapping, uh, those kinds of things uh, go on in the interior of the church uh, unbeknownst to the people who, who, are, who are walsed around the outside like, uh, like Travolta and, and those people who are really not, never have access to what goes on within the, the, the inner workings of the church cult, rather. Mm -hmm. uh, so, can you tell me about your experience where you were incarcerated again? I made a joke. And I was assigned to uh, what is called uh, the RPF's RPF. It, it's a, the Rehabilitation Project Force uh, is, is, a, is, the, is the labor camp, is the, is the re-education labor camp type thing that Scientology runs. In Florida? Uh, they run it at various organizations uh, in Hemet, in Florida, in, in any of the Sea Org, the Sea Organization uh, locations has a, a rehabilitation project force. And because I made a joke about the rehabilitation project force, I was assigned to this, what's called the RPF's RPF, which is like... It's 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 you, it's one degree lower than 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 dirt, you know, and and uh, they they uh, they locked me in the basement of a of a hotel, um, and under guard for ten days, and I wasn't allowed to communicate, I wasn't allowed to use a phone, I wasn't allowed to talk to anybody, until I recanted my terrible sins and confessed that I was uh, uh, insane or whatever. Uh, and um, and then I could graduate into the normal RPF, the Rehabilitation Project Force, in which uh, I had to work basically from sun up to sun out, sundown. I was I was I was uh, birthed. I was I, we lived in the garage structure, the parking garage of the Fort Harrison Hotel in Clearwater, Florida. Um, and, uh, you know, we were up at five in the morning scrubbing toilets and uh, we couldn't talk to our wives, we couldn't talk to our children uh, um, until, again, we recanted and, and came to our senses about how evil we were. And, and when was this again? In uh, 1979, this all occurred. So I knew that these things were going on and for that reason, uh, I, I spoke out against uh, some of these things, and for that reason, they have policy that requires them to attack me, to discredit me, to harass me legally, and to do anything, in fact, to, to uh, uh, what they call dead agent me. 
uh, dead agent means to discredit or make you know make a person uh, in, uh, not credible uh, as a witness um, and uh, apply their fair game policy. Uh, the fair game policy was one of the policies that these people carted off. I, I would show you what their fair game policy says. It says basically that they can, I can be tricked, sued, lied to, uh, destroyed. And, and other people have co copies of those things. I mean, I don't ha fortunately don't have the only copies of those things. Uh, uh, Priscilla Coates from the uh, from the uh, uh, Cult Awareness Network can supply you with uh, with pretty much all of the things that they took from me uh, because uh, you know it's it's of interest. Mm. What what did they take? Uh, the right. <clears throat> oh, hundreds of computer disks. They've been through my whole. Uh, They've been through my whole hard drive. They deleted whatever they thought they wanted to delete. They copied whatever they thought they wanted to copy. Uh, they wouldn't let me look at the disks that they were taking to verify that they were only taking what they were su supposed to take. Uh, there was no federal officer here. I mean, it's just a... I, I figure, well, if that's the way the legal system works in this country, um, I, I would like to know it. I mean... Do you have an attorney? No. No. Have you been, uh, have you been harassed by them before? Yes. Uh, they've dragged me into some bogus, they've dragged me in for deposition on some bogus lawsuits. Uh, they've come to my house. They've, uh, they've, uh, um, they've gone to my elderly parents' house in Palm Springs and tried to harass them. They've been to my friends. Um, they have distributed among the neighbors where I had been living um, uh, uh, yeah. leaflets about uh, about yeah, how you remember that story? Yeah, I used to work at the Glendale News Press. Right. Was, uh, yeah. Right. They were, they were saying all kinds of they gave your neighbors all these things. Like right. A, right. It's called the dead agent pack supposed to, supposedly to discredit me and, and so forth. So. What uh, they have a lot. They have lawsuits against the Cult Awareness Network, and uh, because some of my research involved uh, um, the Cult Awareness Network, and I was, you know, um, fairly knowledgeable about about uh, some of the things with re you know with with relation to uh, the Cult Awareness Network director out here, Priscilla Coates. Um, they wanted to. They de they deposed me in two cases, two bogus cases that they had uh, had had filed against the Cult Awareness Network. You want more light? No, it's okay. Against them, then we have them always be looking over my shoulder. Yes, I I uh, I watch in my rearview mirror to make sure I'm not being followed. I, I you know do all the things to be careful. But yes, I am afraid. I was a Scientology minister from 68 to 82, and uh, I objected to certain of the practices that I considered barbaric within the church, and I was excommunicated. Uh, someone sent me, uh, publicly posted on internet, some of the upper-level material from Scientology that they charge so much money for, and I simply reposted it with my comments on it, and that gives them the right to come in and... <clears throat> examine my uh, my personal files, delete whatever they want, take whatever they want with them, and uh, apparently uh, it's legal. Apparently it's legal, but uh, it's not legal in any country I want to be a part of. I mean, it, I consider my rights have been pretty well trampled on. Um, so, Why do you think that they would um, want these items? They want to prove that I, uh, I have, first of all, that I have the materials that they claim are copywritten, and that uh, that I uh, I violated their copyrights uh, by um, by uh, by posting them or reposting them rather to internet. Um, it's my uh, my belief that uh, that first of all the materials are not copywritten, and uh, second of all that if they were copywritten, it doesn't matter. I was trained on them as a minister. They were, quote, scriptures, 
I am still a minister, and I have a right to preach with those materials any way that I want. The Internet just happens to be the pulpit upon which I preach. So they're telling me I cannot use these materials or uh, discuss these materials uh, in a public forum, which Internet is. Um, why do you suppose that, um, that they would want to take this from you and pursue, you know? They, they want to silence their critics. They want to silence anybody who's critical of them. And coming in here with all this lawyer stuff and the police and all that stuff, it's a way of intimidating me. And, uh, and legally, you saw the, the pile of paper that they served me with and, uh, and, and so forth. Uh, the whole thing is to intimidate me into being quiet and, and to, you know, potentially ruin me. And they've taken all of the material that proves that that is their, that is their policy. It is their policy to do that, and that, uh, that is some of the material that they've taken from me. Their policy that says when, a, when you find a critic like me, to ruin them financially by filing suit against them and, and harassing them and, 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 and using their fair game policy. Well, could you give me like the chronology, like when the when's? Of what? Like when you, when I started posting on internet in, in August, and uh, other some, some other anonymous people posted this supposedly copywritten material, and I reposted it with my comments under the fair fair use, uh, and that's what they came and supposedly had a right to take from me this material that I reposted. Do you want your phone number? And what was the timeline on that? When did all this take place? Well, August was when I started on the Internet. Uh, the postings, uh, the confidential, the quote, confidential postings that, uh, that, they're, that, that, are, that they're in dispute about are, uh, were, were in uh, November and December, and I uh, haven't posted anything of that nature uh, for a while. So I, I don't know what else. And um, prior to this today, what contact has the church given you? They've, threatened, they, they've sent me threatening letters. Their lawyers sent me threatening letters that if I don't stop doing this. And I said, well, give me some, some, uh, some evidence that you are the owners of this material, word for word, that this is material is, what you, is something you own. I mean, then I, we can't even start the discussion until I know what you're talking about. Oh, can you say that again, or, um, and just say the Church of Scientology? You know, like the Church of Scientology uh, 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 sent me a threatening letters through their lawyers, threatening law, uh, a legal suit against me unless I stopped uh, uh, and admitted to posting their confidential copywritten material to Internet. And this was, uh, I have the letters uh, you know, I, I can show them to you, that, uh, you know, the kind of threatening letters that they've sent me. And I, I wrote them back and said, uh, what material are you referring to? Show me the word-for-word -word, uh, material that you claim I violated. And, of course, I got no answer. So this is their response. Yeah. Don't trample all over my civil rights. And they've been here since... 7.30 this morning, you know, like five hours or six hours of sitting in front of my computer copying files and deleting files and taking disks and all that stuff, so. There you go. And uh, what action are you going to take now? What, what do you see your, uh, well, um, your game plan? Well, what the action I'm going to take is let people know what, I mean, all I was trying to do is let people know what goes on behind the scenes of Scientology. Now they've, they're out in the open. I intend to let people know what they're doing, you know. I'm, I'm only exercising my rights under the Constitution. That's all I intend to do. I mean, they're going to they're gonna do the thing to me, is what it amounts to. They're going to do it to me. And in doing that, they're going to do it to themselves. Because either I have rights under the Constitution or I don't. If I don't, I'd like to know it. You know, I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm a minister. I publish uh, a newsletter. Uh, I publish to Internet uh, 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 on the basis of uh, public awareness and, and consumer advocacy so that people know what they're getting into when they get into Scientology. And um, 
hey, if I can't do that, I want to know it. If it's not legal for me to do that in the United States, I want to know it now. I'm, I mean, I believe I have a right to do that. So, as far as what I'm going to do, uh, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. If, uh, if there are, if there's organizations that, that specialize in protecting civil liberties, I would expect them to come to my defense. If, if I don't have those rights, then nobody will, you know, nobody will come to my defense. I don't have the resources to defend myself against a multi-billion dollar criminal conspiracy, which I believe Scientology is. I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't have a game plan. From here, uh, I bought the e-ticket on this deal. They're going to drag me around, and we'll just see how much uh, the courts let them do it. <laughs>